day seven in my Arctic expedition where I need to be dressed in full tactical and functional gear at all times due to sub-freezing temperatures. And not just because I really like this style and want to dress like this and show it off. No, I have a very viable reason as to why I'm dressed like this. Psych! I'm at home! Ah, <sighs> and I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step process to get comfortable wearing anything in a matter of a couple days, a couple hours, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna show you how I do it, and for that, I need to find something that makes me uncomfortable, and even though that fashion is my job and I thought that I could wear anything, I'm still very uncomfortable wearing these six-inch heels for a week straight to prove that you can get comfortable wearing anything you want with these steps. And yeah, like I said, you'll be able to take this formula that I'm using with either jackets, pants, accessories, whatever it may be that you're too shy to share with the real world and have no reason to wear. Like this. Like, why does anyone need to be dressed like this? Because you think it's cool. And I'm gonna show you how to make that a viable reason. But yeah, like I said, I've had my eye on these heels for a long time. And I'm going to document the process of getting comfortable in them on camera so that I can prove my work and so that you can steal this format for yourself. So in a real life setting, the days are pretty arbitrary in terms of what I'm doing, but I've decided to structure them going up in terms of formality and what I want to do in the boots. An example like day one, I'm probably just going to hang out alone by myself in the heels or something so that nobody can judge me. And on day five, I'm going to up the ante and do probably the most trying test of any outfit going on a date. I'm not gonna lie, I'm already kind of nervous just thinking about having to go to the grocery store in them. So we're just gonna go ahead and get on with it. Here it is. So I got my Supreme uh, Axe. We're just gonna go ahead and bang, here they are. These are huge. They're so big in person. I have a pretty big head. This is pretty big. Again, even for me, this is kind of crazy. So I have no idea what the format of this video is gonna be like. Oh, and I gotta do this. Smells like Ligma. I've also never worn heels like this. I can hold the whole thing in my hand. And so I guess the first course of action into getting comfortable in these is literally getting comfortable in them. I'm gonna have to learn how to walk in heels before I can metaphorically fill these shoes. So, I bought these socks because I feel that there's a little ankle support here even though I feel like it's probably not gonna do anything. And I feel like the added support will make me feel more confident in walking in them. These are kinda cool. Let's put them on. Oh my god. Oh wow, these fit perfect. I cannot wait to update my hinge profile. All right, here we go. Oh my God, you can't even see me. They're honestly not that hard to walk in. I feel like I could get this. This is not that bad. Obviously the true test is when I'm outside and there's variable ground and stairs and stuff, but for the most part, this is pretty comfortable. This isn't bad. This isn't that bad. I don't, oh shit, my god. You know what, I gotta get some practice in, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, day one, felt pretty good. Uh, just putting them on and, and wearing them around. And honestly, I really like how I look in them and that's what matters at the end of the day. So my comfort level is still pretty low. Comfort level is around like here, maybe. I don't know, I'm very uncomfortable in them, but it's only up from here. But on day two, we are spicing it up because we are doing outfits. I'm going to see how the piece looks on me with context and just how it would work with the rest of my wardrobe. But also since this is kind of the wildest piece that I own, I have to support it with equally hot pieces thanks to the sponsor of this video, Farfetch. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Farfetch is one of the best ways to shop both new and previous season collections online because they aren't necessarily the ones getting stuff directly from the brands. I'm going to paint the model. They are more like a middleman. In other words, we are supporting local businesses through Farfetch. And because of that format, they have the inside on certain stuff before it goes on sale on the main sites because of the boutique that they're middlemanning for. They're also partnered with Stadium Goods, so you got all your resale sneaker needs all in one spot. Just getting 
getting the best price in a very volatile market. <sighs> it's all a game, baby. And you can also save 10% on the game by using code FAYT10. You'll get 10% off your order. I'm pretty sure that's Frugal Aesthetic YouTube 10. Anyways, you'll get 10% off your first order if you're a new member. So just go ahead and make an account on Farfetch and bam, you'll save 10% off depending on how much you spend. Again, heels, wildest piece I own. You know where to get them. I just snagged this Rick Owens like sheer banana collar. This is probably another video in itself. And you'll see throughout the video, the heels have really opened up an avenue for me to thinking that I look good in almost everything. And but that is for later. You will have to see if it worked out or if this is all just cap. Anyways, thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring the video. All my favorite pieces are in the description as well. Again, F-A-Y-T-10 and you'll get 10% off. Thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring the video. Everything's in the description. And now we get on to day two. Hey guys, thought it'd be kind of funny to do the fits in a very ASMR cars going by on the highway. Uh, do hey, come on. Someone's dying out there, but you got like, starting off with like t-shirts, maybe a jacket, you know, just very basic, just stuff that you're gonna be able to wear on your day to day. And I feel like that's a real good test of any new piece that you're gonna implement into your wardrobe because what really matters is how much you're gonna be able to wear it. You know, so I'm starting with just t-shirts and very, like I can run errands in these outfits, you know? And, oh crap, shirtless sans or nipples, but uh, I think that ever so slightly you can start to up the formality and stuff that you're going to wear on a more transient basis, you know, outfits that have an occasion, have a purpose. Like here I have some jackets that I'm probably not going to be wearing to a CVS or something because I just want to start to flex and just see the um, potential of the new piece if you get what I mean, you know, because you're not going to be able to wear like crazy Tide Pod killers every day, you know, you don't want to do laundry like this every day, but every now and then like this right here, bang. Pause, look at that, look at that, look at that look. Look at this look, huh? I'm telling you, every single one of you has had that look. I swear to God, when you're in the mirror and you're making an outfit and you're like, hold on, I look kinda nice, I look kinda nice. This is the part I like the most. What's the part you like the most? I'm telling you, everyone has that mo look, I had to, I was listening to a podcast, listen to this. There's nobody telling me. Yeah. So I had to walk, walk over to my Beats Pill, like pause it. I took a couple pictures of myself because I was feeling myself. That is why we do this. And I know you know this. I know you felt this way. That's crazy. This is the date outfit. This is what I'm wearing on the date. Layering looks good. Proportions look good. I feel like I, I feel really good at this. I have never looked that good in my life. So day two, after being around the house and just kind of building fits, and honestly just spending more time in the boots and stuff, I'm already getting more comfortable. It is like the 10,000 hours rule, except way shorter and not actually 10,000 anything. Speaking of 10,000 hours, it's like 10,000 degrees in this. It's so hot. <laughs> Seeing myself in fits that look cool and make me feel good really just got me convinced that I actually might, I might just actually look good in these things. And that makes me feel really good. So my confidence level on the slider is moving. We are moving, we're not quite there yet. But I think seeing myself in the mirror has really got me feeling pretty good about myself. But day three, baby, it's time, it's time for the big reveal because we are taking it outside today. And your outfit is not real until you bring it outside. Remember that, I'm coining that. Your outfit isn't real until you bring it outside. Because if you don't, then you're a little bitch. Anyways, here's me being a little bitch. Oh. All right, I'm about to go on a walk in these bad boys just to really like dial in on the being comfortable. And I picked, I picked the outfit that's probably most opposite Rick Owens. I look like I belong at a truck stop. It's like training wheels. Instead of going full avant-garde or full tech wear, whatever you're trying to get ease into, you can start slow with something you're comfortable with. And I'm gonna wear them with the heels outside. I'm just gonna go on a walk. I think that everybody should just go and take a walk in whatever they're trying to get comfortable in. And just tell yourself that you belong in these and you need you have a reason to be wearing them anyways. So I'll let you know how it goes. Like I said, the walk makes it real because even though you have no reason to be in the fit, you get it in your head that you don't need one. Also, your fit isn't real until you bring it outside. Also, cool trick that I have. Whenever I have to do something stupid and I'm embarrassed, I like to get a pair of sunglasses, put them on, and all of a sudden, nobody's real. You don't matter, nothing matters. It doesn't matter, I can't see you. It 
doesn't matter. I can't hear you. And I mean it. This works. If you're ever nervous about being in public, just put on a pair of sunglasses and you'll be way less anxious. And to prove a point for no reason, I'm going to show you and keep a head count on every single neck that I broke wearing these things. Ah, look at this last guy, huh? Couldn't get enough of me. If I was a girl, this would be weird. Anyways, total next broken, bang. Opinions that affected me, bang. Ratio. Also, I decided to film a little bit when I went grocery shopping just to see if I could get anything funny that would happen. And then this little thing happened. Check this out. Your boots are beautiful, bro. Thank you, boy. Thank man. you, man. I'm practicing. 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 I'm and honestly, after bringing it outside for the first time, you're kind of over the hill. It's like in Hot Ones when they do the bomb and you're like, all right, well, if you get through the bomb, you can get through anything. I feel like day three is kind of like the bomb. And we, there's just two sauces left. There's just a couple days left. So we're just going to go see how this goes. So on day four, we are going to make it even realer. And we're going to go out to hang out with some of my friends. We're going to go see what my friends that have no interest in fashion whatsoever. They have zero drip, absolutely zero drip. My friends that look like they have zero drip. Shouts out to my friends, I love them. But they look like shit and they don't know anything about fat. So we're gonna go over to their house, those lovely people, and see what they think. I'm in the Uber. What do you think about the heels, man? Oh, man, you're looking good. They Thank look you. Awesome, bro. Thank look you. Beautiful. Thank you. I think so too. That look good, actually. Thank you. Thank I wish you. I could wear them. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you know, you know what? Maybe we need to make a difference. I think we all need to start wearing these. That's right, man. That's right. Wait, awesome. Before we get into day four, I just want to talk about how I spent 72 hours gassing myself up in the mirror and in my own head, trying to convince myself that I look good. But really, all it took was that one guy in the grocery store to say I looked good to make me really feel confident in the boots. Like the confidence slider is now here. I feel like I don't really need to do the rest of the video, but I did promise a week, so we're just gonna keep going and see what happens. As a friend that's not into fashion like that, what do you think? Damn, why are they so heavy? Exactly. Step ass. on me, mommy. I mean, sorry, mommy. I mean, sorry, sorry mommy. mommy. I mean, sorry, mommy. mommy. I mean, sorry. Actually, Honestly, you should put them on. I will put them on. I wanna, I wanna feel empowered. Oh, oh my God. Man. Yo, I got it. Oh, I got it. Nah, that, that should be illegal. <laughs> illegal. That's illegal. Nah, that's silly. Bro, I. <laughs> oh, yo, this is a vibe. Yo, like, look how tall this mo. What the f? You look pretty cool. <laughs> Every guy I've met who's put on a pair of heels has said that they felt powerful. What? Oh my god. Holy beer. Yeah. These are bigger than I thought. You're right? What do you think? Much a bigger person. Um, no, they're huge. Yeah, these are wild. What do you think about wearing them? It would definitely be way out of my comfort zone, but I'm always open to it. Techwear boy and some Rick Owens heels. No pressure, buddy. No pressure, buddy. Just Try them on. Mm. Oh, they're a lot heavier too. Yeah, they're heavy. Oh. I feel tall as hell. Right? What would you do if you saw someone on the street wearing these? Like, what would you think of them? Very confident. They don't look that bad on the- Oh, yeah. Mm, very confident. This is right. a huge statement piece alone. Wow. Would you let your boyfriend wear them? N no. <laughs> with his style, oh. it would look a little bit weird, but with you, it looks- She's saying my style is whack. What if your boyfriend needs to be, like, taller? What about the height, though? I love you wish he were tall. Oh, okay. no. I think style should be more diverse mm -hmm. with guys, and they should step out of their comfort zone because, you know, you see girls. Mm -hmm. Some girls can dress hella girly. Some girls mm -hmm. dress more like street wear, a tomboy. Yeah. 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 So I feel like um, the stigma should just be... Wear what you want. Yeah, wear what you want. That's good. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, That's my God. I don't, I don't feel like... <laughs> <laughs> Mommy? 
<laughs> Would you let your boyfriend wear these? Not my boyfriend. Okay, but, but what if what if you saw someone on the street? What if you saw a guy on the street that wasn't your boyfriend wearing? These? If he had the confidence for it, I'd be like, that's a look, and I like it. Thank you so much. Okay. You wanna try them on? No. Are you sure? No, I'm already tall enough. Big thank you to all my friends, but now it's time to make more than friends. All right, well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty nervous to go out of these. Going on a date in general is already pretty nerve wracking. Is this a good angle? You're on the spotlight at some level, you know? Like people are paying attention to you and you feel like nervous because it's like there's your insecurities flaring up for no reason. It's even more exaggerated when you're metaphorically and literally uncomfortable. But thanks to this video and uh, being the guinea pig for this concept of slowly getting comfortable in things alone and then finding a reason to bring it outside, I'm just gonna do it. And if the date goes bad, I'll have something to blame it on, and it won't be my personality or my character. It will be because she was kind of scared that I was wearing six inch heels on the first date. And I think that's a good fallback. It, honestly, this probably will work out in my favor because I'll be taller. Nothing is a bigger asset on a date than being six foot two. How embarrassing would it be if I came back and I took my shoes off and then I was all of a sudden five nine? You know what, maybe maybe I need the heels. All right, I'm gonna go take a shot and then I'm gonna call this Uber. Also, we're playing the date and I got this DM. She has no idea. Oh, hey. Oh, you're taller than I remember. I know, you know why? Oh, sh I think they're cool. They definitely- Why are you uncomfortable? Them. You look like I'm a- <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you have practice in them? Are yeah, you, yeah. I, I, I have. Some, I've been doing it for about a week. Oh, this are you, were you training this for is this? The, yeah, this is kind of the apex of it. So then I went on the date, and I didn't really film it because I realized it would be hard to film a date from the perspective of my feet. So then after we finished eating, I got a couple of my friends to tag along and film the process just so we could get a glimpse of it in the third person. Look at this, I can dance in heels now. I don't know about you guys, but I see that as a big improvement. And needless to say, I feel like the date went pretty well. And the fact that I was able to do it in heels made me feel really good. And if you don't believe me, here's, here's a, here's a- What do you want me to do? I don't know, I guess you're here. <laughs> what, seriously? Yeah. What did you think of the heels on a guy? Hold on, I um, I wish more guys would take risks and wear heels because I thought it worked very well. Also, what do you think about like seeing an article of clothing on someone that you wouldn't normally see on mm -hmm. somebody? It's the main point of the video is getting across the point that it's not as big of a deal as yeah. you think it is. To be honest, it didn't really shock me as much as I would have thought. Oh, sh I've never seen a guy wear heels before, but it didn't like throw me off at all. I was kind of like, oh, that's cool. That's a little different. Yeah. It's only weird the first time you do it in your head, but I guess the more times you do it and the more people are used to seeing it on you, just the better adjusted your friend group and your ecosystem is towards it. And then internally, you'll probably be more comfortable wearing something. See, I still got them on. I don't want to take them off because well, they're kind of hard. To Once you take them off, you're going to lose your edge. Once I take them off, I'm going to lose my height. And you definitely gained a little bit of an I ego. Gained, I gained five inches of ego. Yeah. Some people will say if you go on a date in the heels and you bring the girl home and you take the heels off, does the girl leave? Hold on. I guess we'll never know. We'll never know. So as you can see, after a week of wearing anything, the heels are just a metaphor for or a variable for whatever the hell you're uncomfortable in. After a week of putting myself through exercises of wearing it around the house, looking myself in the mirror, dreaming of fits that I might actually pull off to actually pulling off the fits and not pulling a quadricep. I hope this format proves that you can start making your fits real again. A fit is not real until you take it outside. So remember that and take this video and change that. Thank you so much to Farfetch for sponsoring today's video and making these fits possible. And also I'd like to thank my friends, Wisdom, Sanjeev, and Fashion Wankers for giving me the balls 
to even go at a piece like this. Their outfits have been very inspiring leading up to this, and I would like to give a thanks because now I have the biggest chip on my shoulder and I feel like I could wear anything. I am also streaming. You should go follow my Twitch channel, Vans at the Met Gala. Everything will be in the description. This is big news. Forget the rest of this video. This is the takeaway. And also at 1,000 subs, I will be doing an ARC Terex hot tub stream. I don't even need, I don't need to explain what that is. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. So once I get affiliated and you can sub, you know what to do. And you know what you want. I don't even need to plug anything else. Just do that. Just go follow my Twitch. Thank you for our future sponsored video, Arc Terex substream at 1,000. I'm at home. <laughs> Stop, baby.